In this video, I'm going to be creating this image using Corona Render for 3ds Max. First thing I will do is set my viewport to double viewport. If you don't have this tab over here, you can actually do it from over here. Come over here, right click. You're going to see background, all those things. You're going to see layout. So select the double viewport and apply. Okay, that's going to work just as well. So the next thing I want to do is I want to let me first of all remove these grid lines. Hit G on your keyboard in any of the viewport. It is going to remove the grid lines for you. I'm going to hit F3 to put it in default shading. So I'm going to select everything and I'm going to go into my material editor and I'm going to bring out Corona Legacy material. I'm going to apply it and then I'll go ahead to change it to whatever. I'll just come here and change it to 90. Say okay, come here, select this one, make this 120 or thereabout. Okay, make this one. The closeness I'm going to make 0 0.6. Okay, I've already applied it, so yeah. So everything is white now. So I'm going to go ahead and set my camera. So one of the ways you can set your camera, you can either draw the camera or you can do it this way I'm, I'm about to do it now. So I'm going to set the camera the way I want it. Okay. All right. So now that I've set it the way I want it, I'll just come over here and create Corona camera from view. I want the camera to be inside the compound, so that's what I'm going to do. Select it and I move it inside the compound. Like so. Just like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and set my aspect ratio. Okay. For me to be able to see the aspect ratio I'm working with, I'm going to hit shift F on my keyboard. Okay, the aspect ratio I'm working with is four is to six aspect ratio okay that's a vertical aspect ratio so i'm just going to select this camera let's do some setup to the camera so let's select camera now i'm going to change it to focal length in the photographic parameter i'm going to change it to focal length and i'm going to make this like 20 25 okay yeah 25 is not bad Turn off target for now, so I can move this this the end the way I want. All right. I think it's going to be okay like this. Use my image comp helper to do some setups. All right, so. Let me just for you know cross checking purposes. I'm going to check where the height of this is. It's not bad at all. I'm going to select my camera and then turn on target so I can do move the target up. Now, when I start moving it up, you're going to notice that it's big, it's starting to be skewed. So, I'm going to select the camera again and I will go to tilt and shift. And I'm going to make it automatic vertical tilt. All right. So yeah, it's time for us to add light. We are going to be working on the cameras with the light and also also be doing a composition. You know, we'll start adding trees here and there to increase the quality of the image. So I'm going to, first of all, to put in light in this scene, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hit it on my keyboard. I'm going to bring in environment light. So I'm going to come down here. Okay, this is under maps in Corona. You're going to see Corona sky. I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to bring in my material editor. And I'm going to drag it into this place and I'm going to make it instance. I want to bring in my Corona color correction and then drag it back into this place. Okay, and then say instance. You are going to see the importance of this color correction as we, as we go on working in this video. So I'm going to start my interactive render. Okay, there are some things we need to do. Go to the, to the render setup. Click here, all right, and then I'm going to lock it. So no matter what I do, it is going to be rendering our camera viewport. Okay, just select the camera viewport, come over here and you lock it. All right, so the next thing I want to do is to come to performance and turn off this denoising, denoising effect. I don't like it. Okay, if you like it, you can leave it, but me personally, I don't like it, so I'm gonna remove it. So the next thing I want to do is, you know, work on my tool mapping a little bit 
bring down some things okay let me make it big so that appreciate what i'm doing bring it down a notch okay i'm not going to do anything to balance the light i'm just going to turn this thing off and i'm going to bring in um rain hard highlight compression i'm going to make it minus i'm going to make it 55 rather not minus anything i'm going to make it 55 and then for the contrast i'm going to increase it to four all right for now i'm going to leave it like this okay now i'm going to add sun i want to add sun to this so i'm going to come over here and i'm going to cl click on corona sun and i'm going to create it like this okay so i'm going to select it and i'm going to bring it down a little bit Okay, I think I like I like this effect. All right, that warmth, that early morning sunshine, I like it. So I want to go to the settings and I want to turn something. I want to turn shadowing from cloud. I want to turn it off. Okay, now I want to open my material editor and I'll double click on the Corona Sky and I'll turn on Enable Clouds. Okay, I'm just going to make a little bit of changes here in the amount. I'm going to make it 0.8. Okay, maybe that's too much. As much. I'm going to make it point, point 0.6. Then I'm going to increase the serious amount. I'm going to make it like 0.8. Okay, I want it to be a little bit. Let's see one. Yeah, you can see what that added. It added some some white stuff on the on the sky. Okay, let's do a color correction to make some adjustments. Starting from the gamma, I'm gonna turn down the blue a bit on the sky. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit, you know, satur desaturated, desaturated a bit. Let's see how let's see it's very big. Okay, I think I will keep this to one side like so. Okay, let's 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 add a little bit of saturation to it. It might be a bit too much. Okay, so here you know we are still going to the saturate it here. So let me just go ahead and do that straight up right off the bat. Okay, so you see, too much saturation over there. Yeah, I think that's cool now. Okay, yeah. So for now, let's leave it like this. The next thing I want to do is bring in the tree so that we can, you know, see what's going on all over the place. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and relink this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I do not like the color of this tree. I want it to be green. So I'm going to take this tree actually came with materials. Okay. So I'm just going to pick this. Okay. And then I'm going to apply it to this tree. It's going to make it just green. That is what I want. I want just green tree. Okay, so I will take it and I move it over here, and I will do another interactive render to see what I'm dealing with here. Okay. I want the shadow of the tree to be casted somewhere around here. Okay, so I'm just going to move this thing around till it is looking good to me. All 
All right, so um, with this now, I think we should just start creating our material because of our time. So I'm gonna first of all the material. The first material I want to create is this window material, and I want to make sure that everything is mapped properly where they're supposed to map. So I'm going to select the glass part of it. I'll drag this out a bit. Select the glass part of it, and I'm going to make sure that it is in material ID one. So I'm gonna okay add one here hit hit enter for this particular part make sure that is in two yeah so i'm going to come out of there like so i'm going to come in here okay in this software the corona material the default material that comes with the corona software they are actually good you can that uh, you can actually use them and they will come out very nice so i'm going to select the clear glass material from there and i'm going to select the black metal that they have there they are all very nice but what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all this map and going to delete them there's no need for that i'm going to be seeing this window from afar so i just need the color of that of that uh, metal so I'm going to select this and I'm going to change the material type. Okay, because this mat this window has two materials. Okay, the way the geometry is divided is divided by materials and it is divided into two materials. So this way I get to apply material on this easily. So I'm going to keep the old material as number one and then this I'm going to put in number two. So when I select it now and I apply this material here, you see it applied the two materials at once. The glass material on the inside and the frame material. The same thing will happen here when I apply the material and here too. Okay, that this doesn't have the same makeup as this. So I'm just gonna quickly, very quickly, I'm going to set it up. So I'll set, oh, okay. See, see, these are the issues. <laughs> these are the issues. So I'm going to isolate it. I'm going to isolate it for a bit. So now I can work on it fully. All right. So I'm just going to select here and select there. Select and select. So when I do that, okay, that is number two. I'm going to set it at number two. This is number one. So it is like inverse of what we are having the first time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this and copy it down. And I'm going to copy this. I'm going to move this to this place. Let me just do like this so that we don't lose. To this place. And I'm going to apply this. Apply it to this. So when I do that, you see that I think things are in order now. So let me do interactive render and see. Okay, you can see that our windows and everything, the windows are there now. So I want to quickly, very quickly apply our material on this, on the balcony. So I'm going to put this in place so I have better understanding of the geometry i'm working with so when i put it like that all of them i'm going to select all the the glass that i used for the handrails like that so after selecting it like this i hope i'm selecting everything that's always okay after selecting it like this i'm going to use this glass material to still do the handrail material i want it to be dark tinted handrail so i'll just apply this to it when i apply it you see they are going to be there almost immediately so what i want to do if you want to get your your material to be your glass material to be darker just put 0.3 here i was going to make it dark as you can see it is it's already dark up there or you can put 0.5 okay but 0.5 makes it lighter 0.8 makes it even lighter okay so 0.3 is like tinted tinted like the the original gangster of the tintedness all right so let me just leave it at that for now then for the top the top we are having a handrail like a top rail so i'm going to select all of them okay and i'm going to use our metal i'm going to use my metal that i've used okay the corona the metal i got from corona material the different material that comes with corona 
So yeah, so now the next thing I want to do, I want to apply material on the entire building. I'm going to open the corona material once more. I'm going to go to the wall. Okay. I'm going to use um, the matte, white matte material. I'm going to select similar. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop this for now. Okay. And I'm going to isolate what I've selected. So you can see all of them. So I'm going to select all this stuff. Then I'm going to apply the white paint on it. And then let me minimize this. Start interactive render and see what we have, what we are having. Okay. Everywhere is now very, very, very white. Now it's time for us to edit this material. It is indeed overexposed. Okay. So how do we do that? And there are some part of this. That are not selected. So I'm going to just select them. And then I'm going to come over here. And I will apply the same material on them. Now I'm going to select this color and I'm going to make it a little bit grayish. Okay. And that's the way to deal with that over exposure. One of the ways you can deal with the exposure over exposure is to you know reduce the whiteness of the color. Now, another way we can do something about this thing is through setting up our light mix. So I'm going to stop this and I'm going to open the render setup. Okay, so I'm going to go over to scene and I'm going to set up light mist and I say, okay, instance light. So it's going to create with all the lights that we have already in this scene. So I'm going to start interactive render again. So that we'll see how we can help the solution of this scene. All right, so I'm going to come to light mix and I'm going to bring down the sun. Let's see if I'm going to turn it off. Okay. Bring this one down a little bit too. Okay, I'll just make it one. This one too. So what I need to do, what I can do to remedy this thing too, is to put in trees. Okay, I can put in trees, and how I put in trees, I can use the forest park tree. So I'll close this and then select forest park select go to 3d select in a starter library and then i'll use this very big tree over here import it then go to custom edit now i'm going to drop it here say okay okay so now that i've placed it here let's see what we are having Yes, but this is too much though. It's too much, so I'm going to make some adjustment to it. I'm going to reduce the scale. Let me see if I'm, I'm not selecting it. So I'm going to just, is it being selected? Yeah. So I'm going to just reduce the scale a bit. I want I want this tree to protect this building, but I don't want it to cover the entire, you know, the entire scene from the sun. I want the sun to still pass through. I want the sun to still touch the building, but I still do not want that feeling of overexposure that the building got. can see so I think I think I should probably reduce the whiteness of this material even more okay reduce it even more because this is really really white to 
begin with. Okay. All right. So the next thing I want to do is to apply material to the door. We have a door there. So I'm going to use like a walnut woody material on it. Okay. And like every other material we've applied, we can still use Corona material for this. See, I want no semi gloss. I'm going to apply it on it and I'm going to do interactive render. So when you apply it, you apply UVW map if you need it. But let's see what's going on. Whether I'm going to need it or not. Well, I do not need it. It's, it's, everything is coming out nice. So I want this internal part of this wall to be black, to be gray, dark gray, rather not black. So I'm going to select everything in there. Okay. And I'm going to open this. Um, I want you to, I want to encourage you to use the materials in this material library because they're actually very helpful. Okay. So I'm going to do interactive render. You can create everything from the scratch. I will soon be creating materials from the scratch here. Okay. The material I want to apply here and the one I want to apply here, I will be creating those ones from the scratch. Okay. Because they don't exactly have it in there. Okay. So don't worry. We're going to be tackling all those things one after the other. All right. Uh, I don't think this looks the way I thought it would. Okay. I don't even think I like the way it's looking. So I'm just going to select it again and I'm going to apply white material back to it. Okay. So. Just like that. Let this be white. I don't, I don't, I don't mind. So for this fence, we are going to be using kind of stone material. Okay. So I'm going to just create it. I'm going to bring, start by bringing a Corona legacy material. Then I'll bring in the, the diffuse. Okay. When I bring that in, I'm just going to apply it. I'm going to apply it going to apply it like so on it I will then apply UVW map I'm going to stop interactive render because I want to isolate that wall to be able to get what I want to get so this is the wall, put it in default shed. So I'm going to make this 500. I think that was, that's pretty cool. Make it 400. Make this also to be 400. This to 400. That dimension doesn't really matter based on the, the angle we are viewing this image from. So, but I like everything to be aligned the way they're supposed to be. So I'm going to open this and then I will go ahead and do my setups on these materials. Okay. Um, for the, yes, I think that's cool. I'm going to bring in the displacement and I'm going to plug it into displacement. Okay. I'm going to. Go to Corona, bring out the Corona normal map. All right. I'm going to bring the normal map in now. Okay. Then for the glossiness, I'm just going to put it in reflective gloss. And then we are good to go. Let me make the bump pronounced. Make it like five, make it like 10. Then if it is too much, then we can do something about it. Okay, well, now let's see what we've got. OK, 
Okay, so we have it. There we have it. I'm going to add LUT now. I'm going to make it 0.3. That is too much. Make it 0.3 and then the sun is actually much. I'm going to make it point. Reduce the intensity a notch. And I'm going to increase... What? Let me just make it two. So that the the shadows will be blurred out a little bit. Alright, now this um, stuff in front of this building, this pergola sun shading device, whatever that is, I'm going to change it to a concrete material. It is going to be whitish, but I want, when you look at it, I want you to feel the concreteness in it. Okay, so to do that, see how I'm going to do it. I'm going to create a material for it too. Okay, I hope this is okay. Yeah, it is okay. Create a material for it too. So I'm going to bring this out. Okay, so I'm going to bring in the stone texture, the concrete texture. So I'm just going to bring in this over here. And I'm just going to apply it for starters. Okay. This same material, I'm going to apply it to the bump. And I'm going to apply it to the dirt. Let me just apply it to just the bump. Let's see how that goes. All right, so now let me go closer to it. So I'm going to hit control okay, on my keyboard. Or you can, this is my shortcut for the pan zoom. You can just come down here, you see it, pan zoom. So I'm going to go closer to it, like so, and select it. Then I'm going to apply this on it. Okay, when I do that, you can see. Um, I don't like the way it's looking, so hold on first. Let me check it out. So I'm going to apply UVW map on it and I'm going to, let's see, let's see 300. Okay, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all, at all, at all. All right, so I'm just gonna select here too and here and apply the material to it. Let me go back. Okay. So I'm go I will go back in and select all this. If I let me select this, this, this. And apply the same materials to them. So I'm going to copy this in 3ds Max. you can copy modifiers. Okay, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it so that it will be easy for me. I'm going to stop this and I'm going to come to this view so I can do that. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so we have our concrete material over there. So the next thing I want us to do is apply concrete materials here. Okay, and then put some hedges in this scene. One coming like this, one in front of the building and one on this other side. All right. So let's um, go ahead. And also, there is this um, aluminium coping above here. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to apply the same, this same aluminium material over there so that we can get that one out of the way. I'm going to be using the concrete that we have in here for now. Okay, I'm going to be using uh, this. 
okay and this and this all right so when i open here you're going to see the material that i've applied already there so for this other part this is um this part i'm going to be using i'm going to be using this polished floor all right i'm going to be using that one so i'm going to close it now i'm going to close the material editor i'm going to select this and i'm going to copy the uvw map i'm going to delete this i'm going to delete it So I'm gonna I'm going to pick this and then I'll apply it to this. Then I'll paste okay, I will paste this onto there and this too. Okay, so now when I open it up, you're gonna see something happening over there. And now it's time for us to add the grass one after adding the grass okay see there's something there's a part of this ceiling that i omitted there should be a white material there so i'm going to select it i'm going to select it and then i'm going to come over here and apply that material to it yes that sorts it out i think we should add the hedges first so i'm going to stop this interactive rendering and then i'm going to Put this in wireframe mode i want the hedge to be right in front of this building right in front of this wall so i'm going to come over here and i'm going to select the line and i'm going to just draw the line just in front of the building like so okay and then i will draw another one here like that always remember my advice always draw this where you need it okay there's no need putting it where you don't you die the camera will not catch it it will contribute to the heaviness of your scene but then it is not adding anything to the scene because it not neither the shadow or nor is it visible to the camera so i, I suggest that if you are not going to use it better better for you to just make sure it's not there all right so now that we have added the line that is going to host this okay i'm going to go in here and i'm going to go to the presets go to go to cut hedges and i'm going to come down here okay and i will select this one and i'll import it make sure you are in generate okay so that it generates it for you so i'm going to set this thing this field i'm going to set it to shape so i select only shape say okay say okay again all right so i'm going to come over here now and i'm going to let me just close this for now i'm going to go to distribute i'm going to change this thing to image all right then i'm going to change this to three thousand Okay, maybe 3002. I'm going to make it 36. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Interactive render. Okay, this is too high. I do not like this one so i want to go and change it so when i go to go to geometry and i'll go to library stop this and now go to library it's too high for that location so i'm going to change it to something lesser like this i'm going to say okay now so okay again so i'm going to come over here and i'm going to go to distribute i will set it to image right back i'll make this 
I'll make this four five this time around. Let's see what we have. Yes, this is very, very good now. So I think four five is still jam packed. I'm going to increase it again by I'll make it six thousand. <laughs> I need some gaps in between. Yes. Now we are talking. Some imperfection, some some gaps, some some openings. Yeah. Now I want to add other. I want to add other lines to this to have hedges on those other sides too. So I'm just gonna come over here. Click on this to select new spline. Okay. So I'm going to select the geometry now and I'm going to head back. I'll delete this. So I'll select it again. Set it to shape this time around. All right, so now we've done this. So let's go ahead and add the grass. Okay. I'll set, select this part. Now go to select, go to layered lawns, come down here. I'll be using this one. Make sure you generate, and then I'll just say okay, okay, okay for everything. All right, so I'll just change this to geometry. And I uh, will click on this to add the geometries. To exclude them from this forest park. Okay, just like that. I'm done. All right, so um, the next thing I would like to do, but first of all, let me see. Let me see what we have. of greenery so i'm just going to come over here and then increase this in a little bit in fact i'm going to make it one just to see how it looks hmm. i think i'll just reduce it from here now Just leave it at one. Okay. Yeah. So um, I want to add potted plants on this top place. But before that, I want to go ahead and I want to remove this tree. I don't like the way it is showing there. So I'll select it. Okay. While working, you feel free to remove the things that okay you thought were good ideas, but as you go on in the video, in the in the in the in the work, you realize that okay, this is actually not coming out the way I thought it would. Okay, you can always remove them. You can always change your mind. Okay, when things are not as good as you thought they would be. All right. Yeah. Let me see. I might even. Might even use only for a spark tree for this. Okay. 
Okay. I think this is um, a bit much for that for that area. I'm just gonna bring it forward a little bit. That one. So I'm gonna select this and I'm going to raise it up so that it comes out a little bit on the top part of the building. Oh, way 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 too much. just like this just like that okay now i want to bring in additional trees into this scene okay i want to put some trees because now the trees are not they are not enough anymore okay so i'm going to stop this i'm going to open my copy tool. i've already loaded the trees in my copy tool. All right, now that we have it in, I'm going to move it into place where I want it to be. Or where I want them to be. Let me see how this looks. Yes, I like the way this is looking. I like it. 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 But when you look at it, you find out that the green is not as light as the green we already we are already having here. It's fine. I'm going to adjust that in a bit. Okay, I'm going to adjust. You can see this. This green is deeper than this. I'm going to be adjusting that in a bit. Okay, so we have that one. Let me see where else we can put other trees. All right, so yeah, as you can see, let me go ahead and bring in my potted plant. Okay, so let me bring in the, my potted plants. To just select okay this i'm going to group i'll group this as well and this So I'm going to put this on top of the balcony. I'm going to select it and move it to the balcony area. So I'm going to isolate both of them. Now reduce this. OK, 
אוקיי. All right, so I'm going to bring back, like, relink the material on the on the potted plant. Uh -huh. Just like that. Let me see if I can. Use this and it will look nice. If it doesn't look nice, maybe we're going to bring in another hedge. Okay, but if it does look nice, I'm just gonna leave it. Let's see what we've done. tight scale it down and <laughs> yeah that's that so i would have loved for the the hedges to be bigger but well, based on what we are having on ground i don't think that's going to if you want it to still look good but i have to work with the possibility you know So that's um that's cool. But let's go ahead and work on this material. We need to get it to look like the other greens. Okay, the green is not looking, you know, as light as I would like. So I'm gonna select it. And that's it there. So I'm going to add um corona color correct. No, this this. Okay, and I'm going to expose it, make it to, let's see how it looks. Okay, that's close to it. Let's see, um, 1.5, sorry, 1.5, 1, 1, 1.5. No, two. Um, hmm. Okay, so um, it's not a little bit, it's not light, just like I want it. Let's make it a little bit warm. So that okay. you know this is a little bit warm so making it a little bit warm is going to like bring it closer to what we are having already in this scene okay the same thing i'm going to do for this other three that we are having here okay basically the same thing so i'm just gonna come over here select this drag it out of here Yeah. 
Nigeria. So there you have it. Okay. So um let's quickly do final, you know, final final tone mapping before we do our index. I'm gonna make this three, make it sharp. Alright, so I'm going to what else, what else, what else? Oh let me make this one. Sharpness is not too much. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to add our. Uh, I'm going to add. I'm going to add this vignette, and I'm going to make it one. Okay, I want the focus to be somewhere. All right, what else can we add? This is a day scene, and you can see we are seeing sky. I want to have trees behind here, so the simplest way to do that is just to come here, take this forest part trees it's a straight camera so all i have to do is put it behind put it behind here and then say okay all right so you can see trees there but um i need to bring it down i need it to cover the the windows down a bit more I think that's a bit too much. <laughs> it is a little bit. A little bit more. Yeah, that might be too much. All right. So I'm just going to stop this interactive render and I'm going to head into the render settings. So we'll do the final setups before we hit the production render. Okay, I'm going to set the denoiser to Corona high quality. Yeah, everything is where they're supposed to be. All right, so I'm going to hit render now and then I'll see when the render is done so we can save it out and uh, do other things that we might need to do. All right, so the render is done. It's time to save out. But before I do that, I want to try something. I'm going to turn on this um, assets OT and I'm going to reduce it to like 0.2 or maybe 0.3. That doesn't look so bad. I must confess. I added a little bit of depth to the image. So I'm going to leave it like that and I'm going to export it. All right, so I'm going to come here, select. Hit save. I want to save it on the desktop. I want to call it um, exterior view one. So I'm going to save it to PNG and override gamma by 2.2. And then I'm going to say yes, save, and then OK. It's going to save. All right. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. And if this is your first time watching this channel or you have been watching content from this channel and you have not subscribed, please make this the video where you click the subscribe button, okay? Not only subscribing, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future tutorial. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.